Well, would that be enough room for you? There's never enough room in the <laughs> greenhouse. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I bought an old greenhouse in uh, Lorraine, the Lorraine region of France, in the east of France. And uh, we disassembled it and uh, we had to cut it back to, in order to take it back home. And now this year, we really want to get a crack on, um, on uh, reassembling it. So it's uh, at the moment it's all sitting on the car park. So we have some uh, metal work to do in order to put it back uh, in a working condition. And we need to do some uh, leveling, ground leveling and uh, masonry work in order to be able to reassemble it. We have a big amount of, uh, of iron uh, set on the car park and it should uh, soon hopefully all uh, get back in order. When we renovated the coach house we planned some uh, hot water pipes coming all the way to the where the greenhouse will be so it will be a heated ornamental greenhouse but um, somebody also gave me the structure for another uh, lean to greenhouse that will be a working greenhouse for starting seedlings for the vegetable garden. The cold greenhouse is a much simpler structure than the heated one. Uh, it's just uh, lean to bars of metal that will uh, be against the wall. And so I'm going to start both projects at the same time um, because the, this one will be a lot easier to realize. Amy doesn't uh, quite know that yet. This is the place where the heated greenhouse will be. Uh, interestingly, we know that there used to be a greenhouse in the past because uh, somebody gave me the, um, a drawing of the piping of the, the chateau in the early 20th century. And this piping, uh, on, the, on the, this drawing, there's an arrow pointing at this area uh, saying that there used to be a little uh, trough that was next to a greenhouse. And actually, when we um, did a bit of uh, investigation in the area, we found a wall with the, the rest of a post that look like there would have been some something like uh, cold frames uh, against this wall. So obviously the, the cold frames are not here anymore, but we have the base of the structure. There are still some stones uh, where they would probably have put the, the, the pots uh, for starting seedlings for the, the vegetable garden. Um, so we will reassemble the, the Rotaran greenhouse at the place where there used to be one. So today I want to clear this area so we can see a little better uh, what we have to do and where we need to build the, the, a wall for the base of the greenhouse. So I'm going to mark it with the spray paint at the size we want the, the greenhouse to be. This is where the cold greenhouse is going to be installed. Uh, so we have the behind me uh, the wall of a uh, water tank that's uh, not used anymore. It used to be an ornamental pond uh, and then it was covered with a concrete lid in the 1960s or 70s. Uh, but it's uh, dark cracks so it's not in use anymore. Uh, it will be uh, at some point. But it means we have a nice straight wall that will be perfect for uh, putting a greenhouse structure against.
That's interesting. That's an old. Uh, that's a piece of zinc I just uncovered. It was probably uh, part of something from the old greenhouse. That's quite interesting. I'll leave it on the side. <laughs> this is the ridge, ga uh, the ridge girder of the greenhouse and when I disassembled it, it was, uh, the greenhouse is about six meters long um, and the place where I would like to assemble it is slightly longer. So I've undertaken the project to actually extend the greenhouse a little bit um, to do a back room where I'll be able to start seedlings and uh, do different things. So I found from a scrap metal yard another uh, girder, but I need to weld it to get the length I, went, I want. The weather's a bit uh, damp today, so I'm, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope I'll manage to weld. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till it's a bit uh, drier. So these are the, the two beams I want to, to join together. Um, so I just need to make sure they're well in line. Okay, this looks a bit right. That's, uh, that's all done, so I hope, uh, I hope it holds, hopefully it doesn't break. I'll have it checked by, uh, by a friend who's a professional welder to make sure I didn't, uh, well, 
to make sure he approves. But he's the one to, who taught me how to weld. So hopefully he'll be proud of my work. That's a nice uh, pile of dirt. Um, I've, so I'm not completely finished clearing because the I've, I've hit the bedrock, and uh, so now I need to measure the levels to know how deep I need to dig into the bedrock because uh, the I want the greenhouse to be uh, slightly in the, well the buried. Uh, in order to to keep the the heat well to benefit from the heat from the the soil um, so i'll need to take the optical level and measure uh, levels uh, from the garden so this is a bit of a surprise i didn't realize you were looking at this let alone doing any work on it. <laughs> this one's not going to be uh, an awful lot of work. No. Because it's just about building a little wall yeah. here and then anchoring the the iron in it. Yeah. And um, didn't we discuss so the potential for doing it a bit wider to even come around here? Uh, we can do, but it's because we had quite a lot yeah. of yeah. Yeah, um, we have some iron. extra ones. Yeah. Um, it just gives you more greenhouse space. Yeah, it's a bit. If we do it in a semicircle, it's going to be a, a bit awkward for the glass, isn't it? Well, it's doable, but it's quite uh, uh, a lot, a lot more, more expensive work. and work. Yeah. Um, but maybe what we can do, what I was thinking actually was to put a low wall here yeah. and do and put glass on this side. Right. When I disassembled it, it was a wall. Oh, okay. But I thought it's, yeah, uh, it glass, would make yeah. more, uh, more light. More, yeah, it'd be lovely. Um, and so it means if we want to expand it later, we can do it uh, quite easily. Yeah. Yeah, it would be yeah. quite neat to keep it on just one side, wouldn't it? Um, It'd work quite well. Would that be enough room for you? There's never enough room in the <laughs> greenhouse. <laughs> this one will be a working greenhouse for starting the seedlings yeah. and uh, doing the well, the transplanting, and potting, the potting uh, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. The other one will be a purely ornamental one where we yeah. can uh, sit and, uh, by a table in mm. the middle of the the nice plants. And, uh, so yeah. Great. I'll trust your judgment. I'm just trying to get you more plant space, my Cherie. I see. <laughs> Take me and show me what you're doing at the other greenhouse. Yeah, sure. This is incredible. It's absolutely huge. Is this going to be the size of it? So um, that's the... That's the... Um, question. What, yeah, it's the question. <laughs> it's what I would like to do. Yeah. Uh, but the when I disassembled the greenhouse, yeah. it was a bit shorter than this. Right. So my original idea was to build. It was about six meters, which, which would come to here from yeah. the wall. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. um, my original idea was to build a little room at the back right. uh, to put the water pumps and yeah. the, all the systems and uh, everything. Yeah. Um, and uh, have a, a back door with the stairs going up uh, from the inside. What's interesting is that when I dug, the, the bedrock is shallower here than oh. here. And I think this was the original uh, oh, footprint of the of greenhouse. The green oh, right. Then what, I wonder what they had here. Uh, the, apparently there used to be a little uh, stone pond oh. next to the greenhouse. How lovely. This is one of our most ambitious projects and I think it speaks to our idea of returning the chateau <coughs> to its glory days of the 18th and 19th century where, it would, where the owners would have wanted to be the envy of all the other chateau owners and anyone who came here, but also where they were trying to bring the rest of the world to them that they couldn't go and explore themselves. And uh, this greenhouse is not just a restoration project of the estate because it's actually far more fancy than they would have had here, but it's bringing back, it's, it's rescuing a greenhouse that wasn't wanted where, it, uh, mm. where you took it from, wasn't it? Yeah. The, well, actually, the people re who, where I took it from really loved it, but they wanted to sell their house and they didn't want uh, people. They somebody. wanted the, the greenhouse to go to somebody who would care about yeah, it. Yeah, rather than rather just rather leaving than, it neglected uh, or. The, rather than selling it with the scrap, house yeah. to somebody who didn't want it. And uh, yeah, so I, I think mm. they'll be quite excited to yeah, see they, it. Yeah, they, they will. Uh, yeah. Actually, the yeah, they they said they would come and uh, see. Oh, it when wonderful! It's restored. Oh, that's really exciting. So we really hope that you enjoy this, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the progress of this and all the other huge projects going on on the estate. And thank you for watching.